everyone. Today we are in Dallas, Texas. We're gonna check out a couple of guitar stores here and search for some vintage guitars and amps. And today the first one we're looking at is this one back here, Jimmy Wallace Guitars. Uh, there's a couple of strats that I wanna check out. So we'll see what it's about. These are some yeah, old Ampeg bass amps. Good. From like 60s, 70s. They're massive. 395 bucks. <laughs> We're still close. We're still close. We got a, a vibratone. And grand. It's only and maybe we could do something 675 with that. bucks. It's not a bad price. Brown face concerts. These are so cool. Yes. Check that out. All right, there's a Super Reverb this way. Early 68 Super Reverb with the black lines on it. Man, he is not gonna be able to play. Here's a bunch of the old straps that I was really wanting to check out. It's a 54. That's like a 56, 57. I'm calling it a Mary Kay, but it doesn't have gold hardware. But I gotta play that thing. Look at these 56, another 56, 58. Wow, this is crazy. Interesting. He's an explorer as far as. Really? Uh, that's what he builds most of the time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he also did these things. Yeah, he's well, definitely good. That's usually who. Yeah. If we get like a battery fit, per se, you know, we get into something good, you know, we'll usually send it to him. And something older, right? We have like This has a very slight v-neck to it, but it's not very full. It's it's definitely comfortable. And a Clive Brown refin that's gorgeous, unbelievable. Look at that. Super cool guitar. Clean. No headstock break. Very expensive guitar. I think it's approaching 30k but this is the whole Clapton thing give her a go
hardtail strat. That's pretty cool. It's apparently a 60s refinish job, which looks awesome. This thing weighs under seven pounds for sure. This is a really great guitar. Needs frets though, but it's another 59, so let's plug it in. Check out another one. So this is a 54 Strat. I believe it's a refinish, no, it but matter. high quality job. And it's got the 54 style string tree, which is cool. So this is a 58 Junior, the broken headstock, but uh, original finish on the body. And this is the lightest Junior I have ever picked up. I think it might weigh, I don't know, six pounds or less. It is incredibly light. And these things are really great guitars for the money, so let's check it out. This is a serious, serious guitar. the repair it's the right way to do it though has a serial number still there 
But yeah, this is an amazing, one of the best juniors I've ever played. Period. Well, a lot of it's total, like if you use a sword. So this is like a 50, 57 Esquire. Well, they've always got Black guard. Uh, I guess it's a 57. <laughs> it doesn't really I told him, I said, you come over add up. super nice. So right now we're headed to Killer Vintage Guitars. This is the other <clears throat> vintage guitar store in Dallas I wanted to check out. So we're headed that way. This looks like Maybe a 54, 55 strap. Let's see, 55, hardtail. Let's find something good. Let's see, we got some Martins over here. What's this? D28? I might pick that one up. made it back safely and I just wanted to recap today's video and maybe give you guys some do's and don'ts uh, when going to Texas for guitars. But Jimmy Wallace Guitars was absolutely incredible and everyone there was, was very, very nice and uh, especially Andrew, shout out to him. Uh, they, they just were bringing me guitars to, to test out and I wanted to mention the rig I was using playing all those guitars was a two rock amp. I don't remember the specific one, but it did have reverb. I don't know if that narrows it down at all, but it, it sounded incredible. I was really inspired by that amplifier and uh, I was lucky enough to meet Eli of two rock last year. And, you know, I didn't really know much about what he was doing, but I was highly impressed with that amplifier. Um, I was also using at points a overdrive pedal, which hold on one second here. I, I ended up buying it because it was pretty cool. It's called a Vimaram Jan Ray, and I know there's, you know, a little bit of controversy surrounding this pedal, but I ended up buying it. I'll be testing it out in future videos with my rig and seeing how it sounds. And also, it should be said, you know, when I'm playing all these old guitars, obviously, they probably need strings, they probably possibly need to refret, but with a really, you know, expensive vintage guitar, as a dealer or a shop, you don't necessarily want to refret that guitar because 
uh, especially if it has the original frets for one thing, uh, the new owner might want to leave it as is if they're more of a collector type, but but you don't want to just go refretting guitars. You, you don't know what the new owner might prefer to put in there. So uh, I did like that blonde 57 Strat. It, it had some mojo to it. Um, the, the junior, I believe it was a 58, was absolutely insane. It was incredible. One of the best juniors I've ever played and super light. I think it was about 3,500 bucks if you guys were interested in that. But yeah, if you were going to go to one shop in Dallas, Jimmy Wallace Guitars is really that that's where it's at but i also went to killer vintage guitars there in dallas and i do recommend going although it, it was not as big of a selection it's kind of a smaller place and um, that d28 that i found there really sounded very full and rich and it was an excellent guitar but nothing else that i found there really inspired me uh, that's just to be honest with you so i didn't end up playing anything but i would recommend you go check it out and see what they have in and they were extremely nice and so it's definitely worth going to check out and then after that i drove to austin i saw brothers of a feather at antones it was incredible one of the greatest shows of my life and I did not film anything there. I was just worn out. I didn't really have time. But if you're in Austin, there's a place on South Lamar called South Austin Vintage, I believe. And there's also a vintage guitar store. I'll put it on the screen. I forget the name. Maybe it's just Austin Vintage Guitars. But they have a lot of, of great guitars and big selection of guitars and amps there. Anyways, that concludes the trip. If you're going to Texas, if you you know want to do a one-stop shop, Jimmy Wallace Guitars, and you will probably find the best vintage guitars and amp selection in Texas uh, at that store. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a comment, like, and if you really want to subscribe, that's cool too. I will uh, see you guys in a later video. Got more stuff coming this week, okay? Peace. Killer Vintage in Dallas. Some really cool guitars, but... Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs>